Hello developers, we are in the part 2 video of AdMob Ads integration in Android app. In the first part, we have seen how to add the app to the Google AdMob account and how to integrate Google Mobile Ads SDK in the Android app. If any of you haven't watched that yet, please do watch before coming to the second part. Okay, in the first part, while adding the Android app to the Google AdMob account, we have come across this verification page. It says review and fix any app-ads.txt issues. Means to display ads in your published app, you need to set up this app-ads.txt file. If your app has not yet published, then you may not get this page. But after implementing the ads in your Android app and the app has been published to Play Store, then you will have to come back to your Google AdMob account add the app store details in the app settings and click on verify app to come to this page okay now let's see how to set up app-ads.txt file first of all what is this app-ads.txt what does it contain why should we add this file in admob this is the example app-ads.txt file it contains add exchange address your admob publisher id relationship type and certification authority value. You don't need to be panicked by seeing this. Your Google AdMob provides a personalized code snippet with all these details for you. You can just copy that in your app-ads.txt file. I will show you how to do that. Same way you can add other ad providers details as well if your app is integrating other ad provider SDKs other than AdMob. So, creating this app-ads.txt file gives you more control on who is allowed to sell ads on your app and helps prevent online ad fraud to safeguard your app ad earnings. Okay, now coming back to the setup part, I will show you two approaches to set up the app-ads.txt file. You can go with the first approach if you already own a developer website. If you already have a website created with a proper domain name, for example www.google.com and you are maintaining a hosting server, then this setup becomes very simple. As given in these instructions, first make sure you have created an app-ads.txt file. In Mac, open text edit app, create new document, specify the file name as app-ads. Copy the code snippet given in your AdMob account and paste it in your file. Done. If you are using Windows OS, you can use Notepad to save the app-ads.txt file. Make sure it has to be .txt format. Next, publish your app-ads.txt on the root of your developer website. For example, your domain name slash app-ads.txt. So go to your hosting server, upload this file to your root directory. But if you don't have a website for your developer account and you don't want to spend money to purchase the domain name and hosting server, then go with this second approach. You can create a website without spending money from your pocket using the free tool called Blogger. This is free, secure and reliable because it is from Google. No need of any registration to create a blogger account, just open blogger site www.blogger.com, log in with your Play Console account credentials or use any Google account to log in, then enter the details asked to create the blogger account. Choose a name for your blog and confirm your blogger display name, then click on finish. Then you will be taken to blogger homepage like this. This is my blogger display name, Ireka Tech Solutions. Okay, now let's see how to publish app-ads.txt. Go to settings, come down to monetization, enable custom ads.txt. Now replace this custom ads.txt code with our admob code snippet and click on save. Okay, code snippet was added. It was added to ads.txt. But we have to add it to app-ads.txt because AdMob will check for app-ads.txt under 
website root directory. So we will have to add custom redirect for that. Go up, click on this custom redirects, add custom redirect from app-ads.txt to ads.txt. Enable permanent, click on OK. Now click on save. So the setup was done. Next step, add the developer website in your app store settings in play console. So to verify the app, go to your play console account, select the app, go to store settings under store presence, enter the website info. Click on edit, go to your blogger site, copy this blog address from settings. This is your website URL, your blogger name dot blogspot.com. Blogspot is subdomain name from blogger which you cannot avoid for free sites. But you can change the blogger name in the address. Okay, now copy this address, type https colon slash slash, paste the address here. Now click on save and publish. Let's see this website page how it looks. This is my website home page. If I post anything from blogger, I can see in this page. Okay, we came to the final step that is verifying app-ads.txt file. After adding the app-ads.txt to your website, check whether the file is opening properly. Yes, see the page got opened from blogger custom redirect. Finally, after publishing the file to your developer website, click on check for updates. Ok, it says we will verify that the app-ads.txt is found and formatted correctly. Now close this screen. The app status shows requires review. After publishing the app-ads.txt to your website and adding the website URL in the Google Play Store listing, it can take up to 24 hours for AdMap to crawl and verify your app-ads.txt file. After verification, you receive a mail like this, app approved. For me, it took around 36 hours to verify my app's ads file. You can wait up to 48 hours max, then log into AdMob account, go to apps, select your app, go to app settings, check the approval status. If the status is ready means your app is ready to show ads. Getting ready means AdMob is in the process of reviewing your app. Requires review means your app has not been reviewed. To prompt a review, make sure your app has been verified and linked to supported app store in AdMob. Needs attention means you need to fix some issues before your app is ready to show ads. So check the status of your app and take the required action. So my app is ready to show ads. So in the next video, I will show you how to implement banner ads in the Android app. If you think this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.